What's up Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Auto Pickup. Auto Pickup is a simple plugin that stops item and experience drops and instead just adds them directly into your inventory when enabled. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, search for Auto Pickup and install the version that's compatible with your server, then restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. I'll quickly mine a few blocks and bash a mob. As you can see, things are working as per normal. Nothing special. Let's quickly use the plugins command to enable it. After entering slash auto, we can see auto pickups being toggled on. Doing the same, we see that items and experience are automatically picked up and added to our inventories, except for sand. Why is this? Well, on top of being simple to use, we can easily blacklist blocks or entities. Same goes for mob drops and experience. If I quickly fill up my inventory and break another block, we'll see an alert in chat and the item will be dropped onto the ground as normal. Using slash auto again turns the plugin off. This should help servers with lag caused by a large number of entities left lying on the floor. Slash auto reload reloads the plugin settings from the config file. Locate the config in the plugin folder. The player data folder contains players on the server and whether they have the auto pickup plugin enabled or not. While you can edit these files, it's better to leave them up to the plugin. The blacklist.yml file contains a toggle for if you'd like to enable the auto pickup blacklist as well as a list of blacklisted blocks or entities. When a player destroys one of the blocks or entities on the list, auto pickup will not be used. The main config file is config.yml. It contains some localization to change how the plugin talks back to players in chat. We have a few toggles for message responses when a player enables or disables auto pickup as well. Then we have a toggle for the inventory full alert message. And finally, we have a toggle that enables the need for a permission. And if this is on, only players with an auto pickup permission can use the plugin. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!